So, fingers under him, he's arching, I pull. So you can kind of pull him forward, so he's not latching yeah. on properly. Yeah. He's starting to arch there. Fantastic. So you're getting him on the arch, mate? Try and get him before the arch. Okay. Right? So, sometimes you adjust your kind of technique to the date. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you can get them before they arch, they, then what they do is they latch hold of the bait, and they kind of, once they latch on properly, they kind of wriggle and relax. And, yep. and you can kind of manipulate and move your your bait hand forward and that'll pull them forward a little bit. Okay. And you can grab them. So, here we go. Drew Gardner from Gardner's uh, Bait and Tackle at uh, Rainbow Beach. Drew and his brother Matthew are professional wormers. So, we're down here just watching them in action in, in very tough conditions, normally, but the boys just still make them look easy. Southeast, they really love Southeast. South yeah. yeah. And why is that, Drew? Just calmer conditions? Or? Yeah, uh, South Easter kind of washes the food up this end of the beach towards the headland where we are. Yeah. It kind of gathers and creates a little bit more wash on shore. Okay. So you get that real kind of wash up and, and nice flow out. Okay. And Drew, we're, over, we're a bit, little bit of a, a flat sand spit here. So generally, what are you looking for? So you, you just, sometimes the spits will work. All you want is a nice area where you've got that water washing in over the bank. So you don't want a foot of water, you kind of want, you know, just this nice film of water like we have here. Yeah. That's that's perfect. That's perfect. You can see there's a bit of distance between the waves, so it gives you that bit of time just to work on the work. Okay. Bit hungrier. Nice one. And Drew, you're telling me before, like, you. Uh, you use the pippy finger bait and you like to take a little bit, little, uh, the end bit off to yep. let him get a... Yeah, so we just, I just normally grab, once I get the pippy out, I give him a bit of a rub in the sand just to get the slime off him. Gives you a bit more grip and then I just nip with my thumb the top of the pippy. It just allows the worm to grab hold of the pippy a bit easier to come up onto it. Excellent. Thank you. Being light on your feet, you've got to be really light on yep. your feet too. Oh, and... Uh, Matthew's got a few more here. Oh yeah, light on the feet. Very light yeah. on the feet. Almost. So there's light. another one. Little one. So you like, yeah, I like tiptoe in sort of thing. Almost so not on, the, yeah, not on your heel. Your feet on the front of your because foot? you're sort of spooking the, the yeah. compression on the sand. If you, put a, if you put a sudden movement down, yep. um, if you put a sudden movement down, okay. uh, it'll, it'll kind of spook and shock. Chop the sand and spook it. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright. Right, we've got a wave coming now, so if I get the bait onto a worm now, right, the wave can come in and crash and do whatever it wants. As long as I stay still, like this wave now, as long as I stay still, you'll still get it. Okay. Right, the water and the waves won't hurt the worm or annoy the worm. Once to. you're so in position. Once yep. you're in position, if a wave's coming, just stay still, hold your hand there still and don't move. Yep. And the worm. Okay. Stay on. And Matthew, so what are you doing when you're going down to grab the worm? What what are you doing in terms of you're putting your finger far behind him or what, what uh, exactly are you really doing? A little bit different to Drew, yeah. so I hold between those two. Yeah. And I catch like that. So you see him on. So I give him my bait and I come down beside him like that and I catch like that. Okay. Where it's stuck between those two. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what about you in terms of the latching on? Are you, or in terms of the arch? I don't normally wait for it at all. Yeah. Catch as soon them. as they've got latched Once on your pippy? I can normally grab them. Right, yeah. okay. So definitely more finicky in the in the wind, in the definitely, northeast? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, there you go, folks. The uh, the gardener boys in action. Um, you can see why uh, they can do this for a living, even in these extremely difficult conditions. Cheers.